Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Bowens and I'm a principal pipeline artist here at Frontier. And today we are going to be playing Planet Zoo Console Edition. I'm so excited to be able to show this game to you all. We're gonna take a look at our zoo and we have some very, very interesting things planned for you all. So let's dive in. So Goodwin Park is a great example of a working zoo. It has a lot of different habitats with a wide variety of animals. We have some bears, we have some West African lions, we have giraffes. There's a bunch of different animals here for you to love and look at and give the best possible habitat you could ever give them. The habitat I want to introduce to you all today is this lovely habitat for binturong and sun bears. So this habitat is actually an existing habitat in real life from our friends over at Chester Zoo. And they kindly let us replicate it so that we can talk to you a bit about these lovely animals and show you what goes into the construction of a habitat like this. So you can see here we have a two-sided habitat for our binturong and sun bear with a lovely viewing gallery. A guest gallery like this allows your guests to be able to get a closer up and personal look of your animals and uh, it's also a great way to teach them a little bit more. So obviously you, you may know this but these are supposed to be on. That's fine we're going to fix that later when I show you how to add electricity to a park. Okay I've brought us over back to the other side of the entrance and we're just going to quickly hop into the pause menu here. There we go. And now that we're paused, let's take a look at decorating this entrance. So there's a couple different ways that you can do this. But for me, I like to go straight into the construction menu. And uh, you can see I've been, I've been looking at what I want to place down. So in the actual exhibit, they have some lovely little thatching details, which I'm going to try and replicate. When I hover over this, you can see it wants to add to the group. In this case, I'm going to do that because that means it's immediately part of the building, which is great. And then I'm going to use the radial menu by pressing Y and use the advanced move tools to really get that exactly where I want it to be. Yeah, that looks great. There we go. And then once I've placed it, I can just bring this other one over here as well. So we've got a little bit of a gap there. I think I'm going to place a column. I like to use the filters to find what I want to place because there are so many things that you can put down in your park. So I like to go by material. In this case, I'm going to look for something stone. There we go. And once the filter is applied, you can see only things that have the stone material. I think I will also add a little bit of cladding to the top there so that we have something breaking up that blue a little bit. I feel like mm, a wall panel might work quite nicely. Maybe not the shell one. Oh yeah, that's cute. It's got plants. Let's go. So one of the things I also like to use is this align to surface, which you can find here. You can turn this on and off, but essentially that will let you just kind of make sure that it sticks to the wall when you're placing it. So I'm just going to place it there and put another one there as well. There we go. Amazing. That looks entirely different. <laughs> There's also a lot of props that you can place down just on the floor. You don't just have to put stuff on the uh, walls if you don't want to. I'm going to turn off my material filter because I was still filtering by material. And I'm going to filter by theme. So we again have a variety of themes here. The one that I'm after in particular today is East Asia because both the Binturong and the sun bears are from East Asia. Taking a look, you can see that there's a bunch of sculptures. We have some signs. We have some uh, lanterns and stuff like that. I feel like lanterns would look lovely, especially when we turn the electricity on later. That's going to be great. So I'm just going to put one. Let me just hop back into the advanced move. Move it up. And there we go. Lovely. So you can switch your axes quite easily by using your shoulder buttons. Now you can of course also edit things that you've already placed. So in this example, for instance, I love this lantern, but I think I might change the color of it. So you can just go into the flexi color menu and select a new color. I think I might go for this yellowish orange. And then to match, I'm going to change the pattern color to be, yes, this red. There we go. I've moved us back over to the habitat this time and we are in the sun bear side of the habitat. 
So this side is inhabited by Millie and Tony, just like they would live in Chester Zoo. So one of the things that's really important in Planet Zoo is for your animals to be able to live a very enriched and happy life. And enrichments, as the name might suggest, help with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the habitat menu and we're going to find some enrichment. It is easier, I find, to look for enrichment using the filters, simply because there's a lot and you don't want to put something in there that they won't actually play with. So I am going to go to my filters and go by species and go find the sun bear. There we go. So now that I've ticked this on, all the items that show up in the menu are appropriate for sun bears. So we have a bunch of different things here. Enrichment falls into many categories. I think what I want to get them is a toy of some description. So, oh, let's get the, let's get the bobbin drum, that's cute. So you can simply place the enrichment item here. There we go. And then if you were to unpause, you can see it falls down <laughs> and it's ready for them to play with. Now, another thing that sun bears like to do is climb because they are arboreal bears. And I think it would be lovely if we added a bit more climbing in here. So you can build your own climbing frame from scratch if you want to, but I would really love to show you all the blueprints that we have for this. So in this case, I like these because they kind of feel like a little run. I'm going to put that here. And before I do, let's again hop into the rotate and give it a little, yeah, that'll be good. And then I'm just going to, there we go. And place. We're back inside the guest gallery. And if you remember earlier, I said that these are supposed to be on and have electricity so that you can show interesting facts about the animals to your guests. You can see they're still turned off. So let's go and place some electricity so that they can get powered. We know that they're not powered one because they're off, but also because if you look into the heat maps, you can see here anything that is marked in red is not currently receiving power. So that's really a big problem for us. You can see the radius of what is receiving power and we just happen to be falling outside of it. This will also turn our lanterns on that we placed so meticulously earlier. So. To be able to place power, we have to go into the facilities tab. But before we do that, I really want to put down a solar panel. I am going to go into the radial menu and multi-select. And I'm just going to hold and drag and then delete these so we get a little bit more sunshine. And then I'm going to go into the facilities and grab the solar panel. And I'm going to place that right here. So now that the solar panel is in, you can see that my powered objects have turned blue. They are receiving power and that's perfect. So let's take a quick look inside. Our signs are on, they have power. We're displaying some really interesting information here about global warming and also about the animals that are in the habitat, such as here, the sun bear. And now, you know, learning about animals and stuff really hungry work. So how about we use this opportunity to build a shop? This is the shop that I picked. I picked a chief beef and I'm just going to place that right there. So we have a wide variety of blueprints here, as you can see, and that's not all. We also, of course, have the workshop, which has console cross platform and allows you to share your blueprints with all your friends or use blueprints from other creators and community members in your own park, which is a wonderful way to jazz the place up very quickly and efficiently. Planet Zoo Console Edition launches on March 26th and it will be available to play on Xbox Series S and X as well as PlayStation 5. You can pre-order now and if you pre-order, you will have access to exclusive content at launch.